Well, here we are at Super Return US in Boston for 2016, and I have Steve Pfeiffer here. Um, Steve, your firm not only purchases oil and gas properties, but you're also the direct operator. Can you tell us a little more about what you're seeing with oil and, oil and gas transactions? Yes, absolutely. You know, it's an interesting environment right now. Um, there's still a lot of capital pursuing transactions. So when we went through 2015, there was a very broad spread between the bid and ask with sellers not really interested in selling at the valuations at the time. But as we move into 2016, we're starting to see sellers become more realistic on valuations. But because of the significant amount of capital on the sidelines, it's still a very competitive environment, um, particularly through brokered packages. So our strategy is to really avoid the brokered process and go after directly negotiated transactions with prospective sellers. So how do you source these transactions? Yeah, so we operate in uh, eight different states, and that gives us the ability to go in and look at the assets in those different states and provide and come up with a proprietary database that we can use to evaluate assets and from that come up with evaluation from the outside that we then go in and, and propose to the potential seller. That's great. Maybe tell us a little more about what you're seeing uh, in terms of valuation for on the broker side versus your direct deals. Yeah, interesting. We, uh, we did participate in a broker deal earlier this year. It was a um, it was a relatively small $30 million Permian transaction and it was brokered. Um, but even a small transaction like that saw about 100 CAs that were signed. And when the dust settled, um, the actual winning bid was about 40% higher than what we thought we would be willing to pay. So very competitive market, even for a relatively small, uh, small asset. And since you're a direct operator, tell us a little more about how you increase the value of these properties. We really look at three things to do when we're looking at a potential transaction. First of all, we look to, uh, to, reduce, to reduce costs. Secondly, we look at uh, ways to increase the production without having to put a lot of capital into the assets. And thirdly, we look at infill drilling opportunities. So on the cost reduction side, sometimes you can go in and just look at chemical costs, um, consolidating surface batteries and facilities, relatively easy things to reduce costs. On the uh, production increase side, we can go in and change the artificial lift, uh, sometimes changing them from uh, electrical submersible pumps to, uh, to rod pumps and different artificial lift mechanisms, which allow us to increase the production. And then, obviously, thirdly, if there's undrilled infill opportunities, go in and optimizing the development of the field that way. Right. So where do you see the, where are you most excited about opportunities these days? You know, I really think it's going to be uh, through uh, some of the conventionals as some of these companies are trying to repair their balance sheets, the focus on the industry I think continues to be in the shale uh, growth area. And as those companies look to liquefy their balance sheets, we're hoping to see some conventional assets come onto the market. So um, perhaps a little bit outside the mainstream, but that's where we think there's going to be attractive values. Great. Well, thank you.